beep, beep, boop, boop. You know what, lads? I think I'm gonna Captain Gundo on this week. All of the points, right? Hey! Yeah, boy! But enough of that orgasmic behavior, because guess what? It is time for the Game Week 25 preview! But first, the Game Week 24 review. With the Game Week average points being 61, ooh, a bit of a naughty one that is, boys. But my team are the best team, getting a whopping 93 points! Well, hey! Even though half of my double players didn't even play double games. All of the points anyway. <laughs> but my old, dirty, overall rank was 128k, but my new, approaching first in the world rank has rose all of the way up to 109k. Way! We approaching that top 100k, boys. We will be there very, very soon. And could that soon actually be this week? Hmm, let's hope so. But the games and my double trouble big boy scoring team finished like this. With the final transfers I was planning on doing before this week was either a Calvert-Lewin to Bamford or a James Justin to Lowton. And uh, yeah, look which one I picked. Patrick Blankford. I like it. <laughs> but with 93 points, I really can't complain, can I? Almost 100 points, oh boys. All so close. But it would actually have been one of the best game weeks to actually triple captain you yeah? with my captain Gunda one, the Gunda Goat, the Gunda Gee scored all of the Gundo goals. And even though he didn't play the second game, he managed to get 19 points, double to the 38 for me for the captain Dino. Very, very nice saying that he didn't play one of the games. But then Cancelo and Stones are, I guess, a bit sad, I would say, as they only got the 14 points between them in a double. Doesn't seem amazing. Not quite the Mahusif 27 points stones got last time was it but i guess i'll take it after stones didn't even play a game and only one clean sheet between them wait and only two clean sheets between them there, there you go <laughs> and then the one and only man the keeper to keep all of the points incoming it was nick pope getting the very goofy 10 points as a keeper which is very much appreciated until he realized he played two games and got 10 points and martinez played one game and got more points Martinez, how are you so good? Like, what? <laughs> but apart from the double fellas, there were other geezers in the team that scored all of the points as well. Where Bruno was a brew, yes, after getting the goal and some bonus points sprinkled in there too, to get the very nice nine points. But it wasn't actually very nice, and it was actually a brew, no. As so many people captained him, he actually made my rank go down when he scored. So that is quite, uh, I like it. <laughs> but then the most Alaman somehow managed to get points after a sexy goal, after a pretty ugly performance from the loser pool. How the mighty have fallen right, how sad. <laughs> then Sufal also got done some points with a very nice clean sheet in there, where I was also tempted to chuck him in the bin last week and good thing I didn't, so that was lovely stuff. Then the rest of the lads, just absolute blankers really, weren't they? With Son, Saucek who was subbed in for Antonio, and then the two lads up front in Bamford and Watkins who also blanked. Delivering me a very kind, Two points from the forward line. Oh, how they spoil me, right? Cheers, lads. <laughs> so that is how the double trouble Gimme24 went with 93 points and a rank right all the way up to 109k. Basically, first in the world, right, lads? We'll get there one day. So to sum up the Game Week 24 review, I would say, very nice. <laughs> but guess what, lads? Guess what? It's actually time. Time to move on to the Game Week 25 preview. With my very sexy team currently looking like this. Now this is also another little double game week with Leeds who are either the best team in the league or they don't even know how to play football, playing twice, as well as the very informed Southampton having two games as well. Where Leeds play Wolves and Southampton, where I currently have the big boy Bamford and Stuart at Dallas. And then Southampton is pretty much a giant no, thank you. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> or maybe it could be worth risking it for a biscuit and getting one of them in because, you know, they are a good team. Can they turn it around here? So now I'm going to have a bit of a chin wag with my potential transfers as I do have two free transfers ready to make with 4.7 million in the bank. Then I'll get into my forever correct predictions of the games. Never, ever fail before, my lads, a best predictor. And then finally, under the captaincy thoughts where I'll tell you, I've been very, very, very tempted to sell up that triple captain button. Could it happen? Maybe it can. So transfers, potential transfer dinos. Who do we want to chuck in the bin right now? And who do we want to be joining? The almighty Nathan Bacon FC. But first, I like to say who is stinking out the team, right? Who is an absolute rotten egg that we need to chuck out? And I'd rather look at that first. Where am I starting lineup? I would probably say Antonio is the only one right now, as he has absolute cheese string hamstrings and really struggling right now, but also plays Spursy and Man City 
in his next two games anyway. So I probably wouldn't even keep in if he was actually playing. And we don't even know if he is actually playing. So that's a proper yeet out of my team there. But also, we still have the injured James Justin, who we could also get another defender in for. But for now, he can just be a water boy and chillax there whilst we play our other defenders because we got four very good defenders anyway. So Antonio is the one top on my list right now to get rid of. But who... Do we want to get in for him? With the top three players I would really want to get in right now would be Mr. Rafinha for Wolves. Uh, what? Rafinha for Wolves? Big and boy, you've been having too many drinks you have, son. Rafinha for Leeds. Against Wolves. That's better. Continue. Or I could actually upgrade Sauchek to Rafinha for, hmm. Or I could go Antonio to Kane, especially ready for their double upcoming in 26. Or I could pull out some big balls behaviour, right? And go for the one and only Daddy! Danny Ings. But guess what, lads? I won't be doing that. I won't be getting Daddy in. Because do you know why? Because I've already got him in! Well, hey! Daddy Ings, the daddy, has joined my team. Hey! And he is ready to try and attempt to smash it for the double. But the main reason I've gone for him is because more fixtures means more points, right? Well, that, sometimes that's how it works, but probably not. But you know, he is the absolute daddy, and I do think he can get some points in these two games here. Yeah. So he is my first transfer. But guess what? We have another transfer to make, where I am actually very, very tempted to do the south check to Rafinha, and then maybe bench like a Watkins, but I'm not too sure that tickles my pickle enough, to be honest, and I'm not too sure if I'll be making the other transfer. So for now, that's all of the transfers done, and we might do one later on in my live FBL Q&A thing, which I'll probably do around the deadline. A nice little stream for you lads, all of you should join. Join it! <laughs> but this is the team ready for this week as it stands. With the first game, sees Wolves play Leeds. A Leeds team which is literally just all vibes in it, all out attack, no defence. <laughs> and a Wolves team who are actually pretty damn similar right now, apparently. Keeping literally no clean jeeks in like a year. <laughs> so, does that mean all of the golassos are about to happen and a seven goal spine tingler is on our hands here? I actually do think so myself, mind. Where a Rafinha would be very nice, you know, but the Sir Patty Bamford could be very good enough here to attack that and also very good enough to be my captain. Hmm, triple captain? Hmm, find out later on, maybe. But 3-2 delete is what I'm going for here. Southampton, Chelsea, where we will have our very own daddy for this one, where hopefully Tuchel will stop Chelsea having their own daddy performances lately, <laughs> as he's been doing pretty damn well, hasn't he? But I do think the almighty Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea will still get the win, but I still think the daddy can score. 2-1 to the Chelsea, I'm saying. What do you say, bro? That is what I'm saying. Also, my camera's just about to die, so I'm gonna start talking in two times speed, alright? Sorry about that. Burnley West Brom, where I will... <laughs> no, okay. Burnley West Brom, where I will be playing the Pope Man over the Martinez Man, who's been playing so damn well lately, I think he's been getting tips off Onana because someone needs to test him. It's not right what Martinez is doing right now. But, you know, right here, I have to play for the victory, right? With the ultimate clash between Sam Allardyce and Sean Dyche. Oof. That is a tasty one, lads. So I'm going for the Pope Man in what I think will be a 2-0 win to the Burnley. Burnley. Brexit Burnley. Liverpool Everton. The Merseyside Derby. We're both teams a bit wibbly-wobbly right now, aren't they? But you would say the red one is slightly less wibbly and could be the wibbly winning one this week. Where all I have in this game is the most Salah Salah, but hopefully it'll be more goals goals, but hey, as I reckon Liverpool will actually start getting some wins now, 2-1 to them is, going, is what I'm going for. Sometimes I forget how to talk. Let's go to talking school, right, okay. <laughs> Fulham, Sheffield United. Ah, uh, um, no thank you. 2-0 <laughs> to Scotty Parker's man I'm going for. Mitrovic red card incoming. It it's overdue, it's gonna happen. West Ham Spursy. Ooh, another derby on our hands, lads. Where Will Son and Kane have enough fight in them to destroy the bubble blowers and actually get Spurs back on winning ways. But actually now, they have some Europa League games. So will it start to be coming a bit tough for them? It's very tough open here. Well, you know, they'll have to play midweek and weekends every week. Are they going to be the same? Probably not. But I am going for all the goals here. Hopefully all the sun goals in a two-all draw. Hmm. Two under Spurs if they're up for it. The winning team will win if they score more goals. I'm a firm believer that if you score more goals, then you can win the game. All right? That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Villa, Leicester. Where Leicester literally molested Liverpool last week. And Villa are having a bit of a flat patch recently, aren't they? So you would say the Foxes can eat up the villains here, but I do think it will be tight. So 2-1 to the Leicester here. And hopefully that one isn't a Villa. It's actually to Watkins. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Arsenal, Man City. Ooh, Arteta back at it again versus the pet. And actually, just as Arsenal are started to pick up some real form, 
So could this be very exciting? Oh, very exciting, ooh. But I do think my Stones, Cancelo and Gundogan powers will all be a too much for them. Ah, uh, that's if they actually play right. Uh, Gundogan is currently flagged. Please be back soon, lad. Or I'm gonna go for a 2-0 win to the sit there. Sit there, sit there, sit there. Man United, Newcastle. Where could this be the game? That Bruno absolutely smashes it and get all of the points, I do reckon so. The points that people thought he was going to get West Brom, this is when he's going to get them all. Where if Leeds and Southampton didn't double this week, Bruno would 100% be my captain. Potential triple captain in a single game week just for him. I generally think he's going to score that much. But uh, they do. So I like Eve Fernandez, lad. Maybe next time. <laughs> Fernandes, Fernandes. I swear, uh, one day I will learn how to talk properly. One day. <laughs> but what will the score be between the Uniteds here? I'm going to go for 3-1 to the Manchester of the Uniteds. Brighton Palace, where Brighton have somehow turned into the best team in the world. Like, um, what? Maybe Graham Potter is actually Mr. Harry Potter and has just whipped out some spells here to get his team, you know, amazing. But with their recent form and poor Palace doing a worse job than Mike Dean at refereeing right now, you would have to say a Brighton win. So 2-0 to the Brighton I'm going for. Not a ton of goals, because they don't do that, but they are a bright ton of fun. And the final game of the week is between Leeds and Southampton, the double game of the week to make this a proper juicy, exciting one. Where both teams have been quite wibbly-wobbly right now, aren't they? But Leeds, you know, at least you know sometimes they know how to kick a ball, unlike Southampton recently. But I do think all of the goals will happen in this game genuinely all of the goals no defense all out attack just vibes and i won't even be shocked for a 4-3 result here so you know what that's what i'm going for no i'm not i'm gonna go for a 3-2 win to the leeds maybe southampton maybe the winning team where i will have the big boy bamford and the daddy of the ings fighting against each other here trying to get all of the points and generally if they both score all of the goals yes please that'll be amazing no oh and i back um camera died so that was a bit I like it. But anyway, that's it for the predictions this week on my never ever fail predictions. And this is exactly how it's going to go. Everything I plan is going to plan out. You will see it. It's not, but you know, I just like to say it because funny. <laughs> but now the final decision this week, lads, is the captain choice. Who are we going to go for? Who is the lucky lad to get the armband? I was going to grab the armband I have, but apparently I chucked it earlier. Oops. <laughs> We're in this double. There is pretty much one standout option, isn't there? And that, my friends, is the one and only Patrick Bamford. 12 goals and 8 assists speak for themselves this week. Uh, this blah, blah, blah. 12 goals and 8 assists speak for themselves, really, don't they? And you know, it's only just half past the season. I would be very surprised he got that the entire season at the start of the season. Wow. <laughs> and, and now he is also playing arguably the two worst defences in the league right now. So all of the glasses could be happening. And also leads are just all out attack. So I'm very much expecting all of the goals from him. Where I won't lie to you, I have been edging and then I've been teasing the opportunity and the chance and the but and the, 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 the of triple captaining Bamford. That's right. Could I do it? Could I actually triple captain Bamford? Am I that much of a mad lad? I think I actually want to do it, mind. I think I want to actually do it. Shall I do it? Shall I just do it, lads? I don't think there'll ever be as much of an opportunity now that the Champions League and Europa League to ever go for a triple captain for a team as attacking for as good of a double fixture and also as Patrick Bamford. Who would not want to captain, triple captain, Patrick, Hattrick Bamford? Ooh, I'm, I'm tempted, boys. I'm tempted. But that right there, lads, is the Game Week 25 preview done and the team is ready to go. So to confirm, Daddy Ings was the one transfer in and I do still have another one. Might not make it. If I do, it's probably Southchek to Rafinha. And Captain Bamford is in it and locked in. But lads, I have news. I will actually be doing a live Q&A deadline stream this week with Have answering all of your questions for Game Week 25 just before the deadline, locking in my team, where I will be deciding if I triple Captain Bamford and what else I'll be doing. And then I'll also be doing a watch along for the Leeds game shortly after as well. So two live streams on Friday, ready to go. And it's all going to be amazing stuff. So I might actually turn it into a drinking game. Hmm. So make sure you don't miss that. But that is all for today. So thanks for watching and remember... <laughs> don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs>